This is my second video on data exploration. Hope you will enjoy. This is my Kaggle notebook that I have already shown you in my previous video. Now we are going to see how to find out null values from our data frame. Data, as you all know, dot is null. And is null is a function. So you can see that there are some passenger ID and the values are false. That means there is no passenger ID which uh, does not have has any value. Um, however, if we go to the cabin column, we can see there are some values that are true that means those rows uh, do not have any cabin value we can check it by our well-known comment that is test underscore data dot head So here we can see that um, there are some values in the cabin columns uh, that are NAN. So uh, this NAN means that those uh, uh, rows uh, do not have any values. Moving to the next uh, comment that is is null dot any. So if we want to find out the null values uh, respect to all columns, then this comment is very handy for us. See, this comment give us that passenger id p class name sex those columns uh, have no null values so we get false for those four columns uh, after that we get true for age fair and cabin that means that age fair and cabin have at least one null value now uh, if we want to know how many null values are there uh, for those columns like uh, age fair cabin we can find out by using some command so test data dot is null dot sum will uh, give us the number of null values for the columns uh, those already have null values so see as there is no null values for passenger id p class name sex tickets and so on though so we get zero for those columns and as there is some null values for age fair and cabin we get the number for those null values uh, we can see that age column have has 86 null values fair uh, column has one null values and kevin has also uh, 320 27 null values moving forward to our next section uh, we will see that how uh, can we change the data types of our columns so first we are going to check the data types for all columns so uh, I click on the test data dot info comment uh, see 
so you can see that uh, that passenger id ha has the data type int 64 and p class has the data type int 64 name and sex are object whereas we can see that fare is float 64 so our our aim is to uh, change the data type of uh, p class from int 64 to int 32 so the comment for that is test data which is nothing but the name of our data frame dot as type then the column name here the name of the column is p class so we write down p class and then we know that p class uh, is in 64 but we will change it to in 32 so we write down here in 32 and then dot d types so now i click on that uh, comment now you can see that although we uh, saw that p class is int 64 but now we can see that p class is in 32 so we are able to change the data type from int 64 to int 32 we will see another example f uh, of that comment uh, so uh, we uh, we can see that age uh, is, uh, has a data type that is float 64 now we want to change it as category so uh, we just write here test underscore data dot as type then as usual the column name within code and we will change it to category so we write down category within code uh, and this is our temporary data frame that is h underscore cat uh, and we will uh, preserve the uh, answer of this comment when uh, this h underscore cat uh, so if we click on our run button we will get h as category now uh, move to our next comment set we all know that titanic had different types of cabins and our data set titanic also back up this assumption that uh, there are different types of cabins on the ship so uh, what are the types of those cabins we can know it within a while uh, the comment is test data uh, cabin dot unique now if I run the run button we can see that there are lots of different types of cabins that B57 B36 uh, C22 uh, then f18 f2 now if we want to know that those different types of cabins uh, how many different types of cabins are there that means uh, how many b45 are there how many c101 are there how many b78 are there for that we have a comment that is value counts if I hit the run button I will get that
number of cabins that's all for today i will share with you indexing and some valuable comments in our next slide thank you for watching